this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And tonight I'm going to show you, along with my daughter, how to fix crock pot macaroni and cheese. First, we've got the pot. Um, it's about halfway full of water. And then we're going to turn it on high. And then in order for um, the macaroni to not stick together, the elbow macaroni not stick together, we put a little bit of oil in the water. And then um, put, a, put salt in the water. And you put right much salt in there, still a little bit more. Put right much salt in there because it's kind of like potatoes. You need salt in there for, um, you need salt in there to get the macaroni to taste better. Okay, and um, as soon as the water starts boiling, I've got three cups of elbow macaroni noodles <laughs> that I will put in there, and I'll bring you back when that is done. You're supposed to cook the elbow macaroni until it gets um, almost done because we're going to cook it in the crock pot and make crock pot macaroni and cheese. So I'll bring you back. Okay, as you can see the water's boiling and we've got three cups of elbow macaroni that we're going to pour in there. Okay, and once you get it in there, get a wooden spoon and stir it up. The oil that's in there will keep it from sticking together, but it still kind of clumps. So you go on and stir it up, and I'm going to let this boil for about 10 minutes, and I'll bring you back when we get ready to put it into the crock pot. Okay, this macaroni is done, so I'm going to strain it now, and then take it over to the table and mix everything together. Okay. Now put it back in the pan. Okay, and what I'm going to do is, I've got one can of Campbell's cheddar cheese soup and one cup of milk. And I'm going to mix the one cup of milk and the cheddar cheese soup in together. Get the rest of this out. Okay, now I'm going to whisk this together. And I've got a one one stick of butter that I'm going to put in here. And I'll just add some um, salt, some more salt, and my ground pepper. And we like a lot of pepper, so I put a lot. Stir this up and melt this butter some. Let 
this is margarine. I always say butter, but it's margarine. I don't like butter. I can't stand the taste of butter. Okay, so now I'm going to mix this in here with this. Mix it all up. And let me hold this. You get the cheese out of the refrigerator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this in layers, layer it in the crock pot. All right. Here you can see it's shredded. It's mild cheddar cheese. We're not really a cheese-loving family. <laughs> so we don't like a lot of cheddar cheese. If you want to put cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese in yours, you can. But as you can see, it's real creamy now. The butter's melting. It's got the, the milk and the cream, the cheddar cheese soup. And so I'm going to put half of this in there. Pour some of the shredded cheese in. Mix it around. And I don't measure. I just kind of put whatever, ever how much we want, I think we'll want in there. Now I'm going to put the rest. Remember, this was three cups of, of elbow macaroni. All right, and put some more on top. And out of this bag, I used a little bit more than half of it. Um, just a little bit more than half. I might put some more in there. Let, let me stir this up and see. And this is going to be real creamy. That's the one thing about crock pot macaroni and cheese. It's very, very creamy. And I really, we really like it. Which I like baked macaroni and cheese too, but with crock pot macaroni and cheese, it's a little bit simpler. Okay, I'm going to put some more pepper on top. And put it in my crock pot on high for um, about an hour and then turn it down to low until for a couple hours. All right, there it is in the crock pot. Put the top on it and it's on high and we'll leave it like this for about an hour and then probably cut it down to low for about an hour or two. And we'll bring you back when it's finished. All right, here's the macaroni and cheese. It's all done. And you can see I put it on the plate. And it's really creamy. And it's going to be so good. So I hope you liked my recipe for crock pot macaroni and cheese. You have a good night. Bye.